very easy question. Question number 16. Uh, he gave you the uh, strain, which is 9%, and the bulk is modulus, and he wanted to know the pressure. Very easy. Bulk is modulus is simply equal pressure of a strain. So if you want, we wanted to calculate the pressure, pressure. Uh, pressure is equal to uh, bulk is modulus times strain. The pressure he gives us the question. The pressure is um, he wants to know the pressure. Sorry, uh, he gives us the question. The bulk is modulus. Bulk is modulus is two times ten power nine. Uh, and the strain, he said in the question is 9%, which is 0 0.09, I, I, I had just did that in the previous question, times uh, 0 0.09, which is equal to this number. Newton per meter square. But in the charges, uh, or, or Pascal, meter square is Pascal. But in the charges, he didn't use the uh, uh, Newton per meter square or Pascal, he, he used 180 M. So we have to convert from Newton per meter square to, uh, or, or from Pascal to, a, one, uh, to 80 M. So it's simply equal to, let me write here, it's simply equal to, This number over ten power five, as he said in the question, uh, and you have to to memorize this information. Uh, one uh, atm is equal to ten power five pascal, so we have to divide it by ten power five. The result will be. The result will be. Uh, one thousand and uh, eight hundred ATM. So the answer is D. I hope you understand this. Yes, question number seventeen. Actually, question number seventeen. Um, I think there is a mistake in question number seventeen. He didn't say that the Greenland ice sheet is a cube. He didn't say that. But if you consider the Greenland ice sheet. A cube you can solve this question if you didn't or if you don't you will not solve this question ever so I will consider Greenland ice sheet as a cube and the question the result will appear for me um, I didn't know if the Greenland ice sheet is a popular thing that he uh, in another countries know that it is a cube but he, he have to say it has to say it's a cube, okay? I will solve it as the Greenland ice sheet is a cube, okay? Here, he wants to know the pressure. Uh, pressure is equal to force over cross-section area. We don't have the force. We just know the density, and we can calculate the volume and calculate the mass. First, let me uh, write the rule of density. Density is equal to mass over volume. Uh, we we have the mass. Oh, sorry, sorry. We have the density. We can calculate the volume. Volume for the cube Greenland ice sheet is equal to times times which is equal to this number. I will. Right, ten power five. Yes, yes. Uh, it's one kilometer thick, so one kilometer is equivalent to uh, one thousand meter. Okay, so we will substituting uh, one kilometer by one thousand uh, meter. Okay, the result will be ten power nine. Ten power nine meter cuboid cube. This is the volume. So and we and we have the density mass is equal to density times volume. 
Next thing he gave us the question is uh, 980 uh, times the volume, which we just calculated, times 10 power 9, uh, which is equal to 8.1. La, la, 9.18 uh, times 10 power um, 11 uh, which is equal to this, this is the result kilogram uh, we, here we have the mass we want to know the force for simply the weight so force uh, is equal to weight is equal mg is equal to the mass is um, we have the mass times 10 power negative power 11 times uh, 10 we will consider the gravitational acceleration 10 will give us 8 9.8 uh, uh, 9.18 uh, times 10 power uh, 12 times power uh, 12 newton so uh, the the last step or the final step is to calculate the pressure pressure is equal to force over area we don't have we don't know the area so area is simply as as the Greenland ice sheet uh, it as a cube this is the area of one uh, surface yes this is the area times which is equal to if you don't understand anything you can uh, send a mail for me I will uh, put it in the description box ten power six uh, meter square so this is the area we just calculated we have the force and we have the area so we can simply calculate the pressure this is the force times uh, sorry over 10 power 6 which is equal to this number Sorry. which is equal to 9 times 10 power 6 plus so the answer is D yes. uh, here he wants to know the total mass of the atmosphere and give us the radius of the earth and the pressure Okay, we can know the mass from the force, so we have to know the force. So pressure pressure is equal to force over area. Pressure is equal to force over area. Uh, first we have to know the area. Area for the atmosphere pressure the the area of the uh, earth is the area of a uh, sphere so the area of a sphere is 4 by r square 4 times 3.14 times uh, r power 2 this is the area 4 times let us uh, he give us the radius of the of the earth 3.14 uh, times the R uh, 6.4 times 10 power 6 all of this power 2 you can use the calculator to uh, know the result so, so here area is equal to 5.14 times 10 power times 10 power 14 meter 10 power, sorry. Mm 
this is the area. He gave us the pressure, so here we can calculate the force. Force. Force is equal to pressure times area. Pressure. Pressure times the area, which is equal to uh, after multiply the force, uh, after multiply the pressure uh, by the area, we, he, he, it will appear for us just 10 power 5 uh, times 5 times 5.14 uh, times 10 power 14. Times ten power fourteen is equal to five point one four five point one four uh, times ten power ten power uh, ten power nineteen newton. This is the force. Force is simply equals the weight. Force is equal to the weight. Is equal to mg. So if we want to know the mass, we will divide the the force by the the gravitational acceleration. So m is equal to f over uh, g, which is equal to 5.14 times 10 power 19 over 10 which is equal to approximately is equal to 5 times 10 power 18 kilogram so this is the answer the answer is c this is a very easy question all we have to do is to uh, substituting but uh, in the rule of the density Density to M over V. M uh, is equal to just one. M is equal to the density times the the volume. Okay, so the total uh, mass is equal to uh, this is the volume for the this is the density uh, for the first material uh, times the volume of it times knee plus the density of the second material uh, times the volume which is the volume of the first material is equal to the volume of the second material this is the result so this is m uh, is equal to 8,000 uh, V. Let us substitute in the rule density P is equal to the total mass, which is uh, 8,000 V over uh, the volume over V over over 2 V over 2 uh, V. 2V represents the volume of the first material and the volume of the second material, so they are equal to each other. So the total V is equal V plus V is equal to 2V. So the result would be uh, kilogram per meter. Kilogram per meter uh, cube. So this is the result. The last question in this video. Question number uh, 20. We will do the same thing. This question is more complicated than the first, uh, than question number 19. We we will do the same thing. We will substituting. We have P, which is density, is equal to M over V. Okay. 